and talking about that technique and talking about that processing piece. This was, um, you know, Mitch, this was a game that myself and Eric, we focused on you a lot during this game because you kept executing these pop sets fantastically to the point that kind of like the nickname within the cover one group, uh, you know, kind of the play on the Michael Jackson, Prince of pop, we would call you the Prince of pop comma sets. And you were just crushing it here. And, you know, off offline before we started the episode, you were breaking this down really well for us. So if you could kind of walk us through your kind of processing, you know, as you're coming to line and what you, what you're seeing here, what makes you key in to execute this pop set here? What do you see in the front? What do you see in the alignment that kind of indicates to you like, okay, this is what we prep for. This is the tendency. This is where my head's at. This is what I think I'm going to do based on what I'm seeing. Yeah. I mean, to start off you, every protection, and this is going to be basic football, right? Every protection has rules and we had a thousand protections and that, you know, it, 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 at first, and especially this offense, it can be so much, but once you get that hold in, it really did cover everything. Um, so you understand, like you said, you get, uh, you get the, the play call, you go from there and then you kind of have for me like a pre pre play script that I go between breaking the huddle and when the ball is snapped, you know, whether it's reiterating the cadence, you know, what's the, what's the important things for me to, to, to kind of uh, get the guys set. What do I need to hear from the guys? Uh, all this stuff. And then you kind of, then you kind of go look through the defense. Well, at this certain look and this certain yardage, all this stuff. And then for here with the certain rules and certain things, um, it was a little bit of a gray area, but you could see that 54, uh, I forget his name. Great, great Little linebacker. Cut. Super, mm-hmm. super quick dude. Yeah, Little um, Like I said, this whole def- this whole defense was fast as hell, and we yeah. couldn't have played them in a better time when the the, the terrain was. Yes, slippery. which was such a such a great point. Like how that weather played into your hands and not to theirs because they were such a fast, flowy defense, and they couldn't get this traction. Totally right. So so say this guy. I mean, he gets a full head of steam. He he had to stop right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or maybe nope. Nope. There he goes. So. The terrain play definitely played a role in here, uh, giving me a little bit of extra time to get out there and maybe him not make a ferocious cut to put me on my back. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's one of those things that now when you go out there, when you pop set, the coaches give you the keys to the car, right? But now you are responsible and you are the tackle now and you have to set the depth or I mean the width rather. Yeah. So you go here, you look at 54 is not relating to the A gap, right? Someone's got to take, take the A gap. So you, you got to think it's going to be a pirate son of storks. Or, you know, at least the D tackle is going to come and, and someone's going to come off the edge. So I, in, in this instance, in this protection, I made a call that said, all right, I'll take the widest guy, you two, man up here. Okay. And, uh, and then you kind of just go through a pre-play prayer that it all works <laughs> out for you and that you don't get your franchise quarterback smacked. And, you know, Josh did his thing and made a great throw and uh, made me look a lot better than I actually am. So I'm thankful for all that. And my question for you, Mitch, is, you know, you talked about your checklist and everything. And, um, you know, quarterbacks, one of the first things they do when they get to the line of scrimmage is they they look at the safeties. Obviously, they're paying attention to that pre to post nap as that picture changes. Um, like, where, where are your eyes? Are you looking at calling out the front when you get up there? Like, where, where are your eyes in that process? Yeah, you, you go through the front, right? Like, that's part of the routine is you, you dictate the front what it is. And for me, honestly, especially where I'm at, it's hard to get past the front seven. It's not like you're down in that stance. I'm already at short arm, so I'm already way the hell down there in like the Saigon squat. My <laughs> guts are pushing my lungs into my throat, so I'm <laughs> trying to also look at what's going around. Like really getting past the tackles, besides seeing where like a like linebackers are relating, or you can kind of see a safety, but it's hard to sometimes get the whole picture. Right. Um, so what you can do is just relay information of what you see and then the guy behind you has got the keys to the car in both regards to uh protection overriding stuff setting you up all that stuff so um yeah i mean the dialogue is usually it's it's pretty crisp it's also there's always it's always kind of going um but in the end i mean if, if there's something he sees that i don't and of course he he has the the green light to do whatever the hell he wants. But usually, I mean, the guys are giving me information mm. and then we're trying to relay, relay that back th- there if he needs it. And if not, I mean, less communication sometimes and most of the times is better. Yeah. And as Mitch said, you know, one of the first things he was looking at was the linebacker and you can see a Luacon 54, look at his depth versus Deion Jones. And then again, you know, where he's, where he's aligned, he's not, as, as Mitch said, he's not relaying to the a gap. So someone's got to be rushing in that gap. 
Um, and as those two defensive linemen kind of slant inside here um, and they're in man protection with Bates and Dawkins, they wash them down and that allows Mitch to set the width. And they're almost, as Mitch said earlier, you know, usually the interior offensive line, the center and guards are setting the depth of the pocket and the width is set by uh, the tackles. Well, here it's reversed. And that's what th why this pop set and having this tool is and this call and this protection is so cool to have because this is something teams love to do against the Bills. They loved blitzing Josh Allen or rushing a, a guy off the edge from that nickel position. It's something that teams uh, back in college when, you know, he was at Wyoming, they love to mm -hmm. do that. And he's had to get better at recognizing that. And um, that's awesome that they gave Mitch a tool like this to kind of overcome uh, how defenses tend to attack the Bills offense, especially with these simulated pressures.